we have absolutely loved our time in Broto. What's cool about this little area is that there's lots of little shops. Ah, I wouldn't say lots. There are a few shops and lots of restaurants. Um, there are quite a few along the little river. But what's super cool is there's this enormous waterfall just in town. Um, it's a super easy walk. And if you're a climber and have gear, I guess you can rent gear here as well. You can even climb up to the top of it, which looks super sketchy. Uh, but really fun, especially if you have the right equipment. We're about to start a hike up to one of the peaks that's nearby and we'll be able to see down into the valley. I don't know if we'll get up to the snow, um, but it did recently dust the whole area and so some of the little higher peaks up there have some of the snow left on there. We'll see if we can make it up there before it melts. This hike is actually like a 12 mile-ish hike that has a couple of peaks along the way. I don't think we're gonna have time to do the full loop. So we're just gonna go up 
and see how far we can go before we need to turn around and leave Broto because we're catching our ferry today to Palma. So yeah, let's do this thing. kind of been on dirt roads that are accessible by vehicles. Now we're on the trail. We've been going up. Now we're really going up at a much steeper grade. Up until this point, we've climbed almost 800 feet and we've had, I think, all of two switchbacks. So that, I guess, is the Spanish way, straight up, more efficient. I don't know, David and I have both decided we like the lack of switchbacks. It's just easier to slog it out the hard way. Cross off. Yep. Looks like it's electric. We have started our descent. We decided to just take the road down. Um, there's nobody on it. Uh, we have not seen anyone or anything really, just heard the cowbells. But uh, as we're descending, we found this tiny little waterfall, more of just like snow melt, and it leads into, I guess, a just kind of a little river, I would say. But, anyways. This uh, trail run didn't turn out to be quite what we thought it was, but it's still really pretty. You get a lot of great views of the whole valley below, so that's fun and um, nobody's on it, so that's also good. But I don't think there are many people on many of these trails out here. Um, even in the National Park, we saw a few people on the trail, a lot more people on like the stone path. So. Yeah, so many of these trails are strung together. A lot of these you can even take into France, across the border, which I think we'll have to come back and do when it's not so complicated with all kind of all the COVID crap. As you can tell, um, quite quite a lot of these Spanish trails here in this region are 
extremely rocky and all the rocks move no matter how big they are as well as quite muddy i think that's pretty much just the time of year but it makes it pretty tricky to run certainly to run consistently without breaking an ankle and david and i are both used to the tucson rocks but these are a different breed i don't know why they're harder to run down because the tucson rocks move too but these i don't know i don't know I haven't put my finger on it yet Than some of the other uh, uh, than some of the others that we have been on. However, despite them being a little less maintained and maybe more woodsy, um, all of them have really good markings. Uh, and we, of course, just used uh, all trails and downloaded our little map so we can be double checking. But for the most part, every trail we've been on has been very well marked with each turn. Um, and either painted on the rocks or on the trees, or there's big posts like that. Whoo! So we've been here for a couple days, and I think today is the least vibrant the trees have been. Don't get me wrong, they're still stunning. It's just, I think there may be like one peak time, one small window when they are just kicking and we we were here for that if the water wasn't flowing you wouldn't even know it was here it's so clear oh it's so cold Out of the woods and we are back in Oto. We have a little ways left to go just on the road here and we'll drive back through Broto, uh, the cute little town we've kind of been staying in and then we'll be off to Palma, on to new trails, new scenery. We'll be um, headed to the beach. Thanks for watching!